Hi, fundraisers. Fundraiser Chad here, and I have five quick tips to help you work from home more productively and effectively and efficiently and all those things we're struggling with these days. I know many of us are working from home uh, for the first time or more consistently, certainly, than usual. Um, I, too, found myself in this situation about five years ago. Um, I was working in a local nonprofit organization, and they moved completely to virtual offices. So we went from having an office to all being working from home, cold turkey like that. Um, and I, too, you know, was excited at first, but then found some challenges. And so I have five tips to help you, um, you know, kind of get through what I went through and be more effective uh, as we work through these challenging times and, and try to get a little bit of work done in the same process. So here we go, five quick tips. Um, number one, set up dedicated spaces. So just like during your normal work day in your office, you don't stay at the same place all day. You know, you might work at your desk, then have a meeting in the conference room, uh, then go to lunch, uh, then go out on a donor visit, whatever it is, there's variety. And that kind of helps our brain focus, you know, what mode should I be in at this time? So yes, we're at our houses, but you can still do that within your house. You know, maybe using um, one area of the house for a certain activity. So maybe I read in a chair, I uh, do Zoom calls uh, in, at this table, I do concentrated work up in the guest bedroom, whatever it is, but moving around um, can really help you to kind of break up that day and provide some variety and some interest. Number two, consider time blocking your day. So consider dedicating a certain portion of each day to doing those specific tasks. So maybe project work, uh, email, social media, and kind of learning and basing that on when you're most effective, when you have the most energy, when you can concentrate the best, or maybe even when you know your distractions are gonna be less. Because we're all dealing with things like, Dad, I'm hungry. Or, Chad, we're out of wine. Yeah, that's a whole nother problem, but, we know that these things are gonna happen. You know, we're all sharing tight spaces. So when can you get that concentrated work in? And can you have an agreement or a time of, okay, I need two hours of concentrated time and the rest of the day I can just kind of get in what I need to get done. We're all adapting, but kind of set that environment up and time blocking can help you do that. Number three, put on a uniform. You know, put something on. Don't just go around and you're bumming around the house clothes. Um, it doesn't have to be formal work clothes. I'm not asking everybody to put on a suit or a dress at home, but something that tells you you're in work mode. Um, I have a rule that no sweatpants after 9 a.m. if it's a work day at home. So, you know, I can get my day started. I can do some reading, but at some point I got to get ready. I have to put on a clothes that would be presentable to leave the house. And that kind of tells my brain, okay, it's work mode. It's time to be effective. Um, it works. It actually kind of does that little switch. Number four, get outside. Uh, we can't forget about self-care in these times. A lot of us are missing something now. We don't have that commute. The commute a lot of, for a lot of people is the, the switch that goes on and off between work and home. And that does something for kind of self-care. Um, it lets us separate things, gives us that buffer, that margin, that time to breathe. So just getting outside and going for a walk, sitting out in your yard, um, going out on a balcony, just getting a little breath of fresh air can provide some of that mental break. Um, what do you do on the walk? You know, I love to listen to podcasts, but sometimes too, I just need to turn off the switch. You know, let my mind wander, let it synthesize everything I've been thinking about. So give yourself that freedom to do what your brain needs at that time. And that brings us to tip number five, which is just give yourself some grace. Give yourself some grace. Accept that we are in a transitional period. This is a new normal for us. It's okay if we don't always have the most productive days. Don't beat yourself up over that. You know, baby steps, try to get a little better each day. Um, and maybe your step to do that is at the end of each day, just kind of sit back and reflect. You know, what worked today? What didn't? I know for my family, you know, it started out, uh, we didn't really have a schedule. And then that just led to, to fighting and other problems. And then we tried to do a structure schedule and that was too much structure for us. Um, we were stressed by the schedule and now we're kind of adapting into this blended mode where, you know, we have things we can do and we pull this, the, uh, go forward with that when we actually need to. You can do that same thing with your personal schedule and how you're getting your work done in these times. So fundraisers, those are five quick tips to help you work at home a little more effectively. 
Um, just set up those dedicated spaces, consider time blocking your day, put on a uniform, get outside and give yourself some grace. Thanks so much. This has been Fundraiser Chad. Um, enjoy this great learning today. We appreciate you and we'll get through this.